What is a system? Physical context view. What is physical? What it is. What does that mean? The mouse. It is a mouse. In context. Ah, what it interacts with. The computer. And a view. A way of looking at understanding it simply. When you have a system, there are things inside the system, and there are things outside the system. We have a system of interest, and outside of the system of interest, what is there? Well, there's the universe. So I've got an example here that I put in my slides. What is the system of interest? Hammer. Can you think of any things outside the system of interest? Wood, wool, snail, and people. There are things inside the system, and there are things outside the system. When our system interacts with other systems, we call our system the system of interest. We call other systems external systems. But sometimes they touch. And I think it's called an interface. Systems interact with each other. Interfaces can exchange data and energy and materials. Like any object. Well, what was your example before? A mouse. I put force and energy into the mouse. Well, let's go back to our hammer example and see if we can figure it out. What yeah. systems do you think a hammer might interact with? Well, a person and a nail. Okay. Hammer, handle, human hand. So there's an interface between a person and a hammer. It's a physical interface. It's where a person's hand touches the hammer handle. And do you know anything that flows across that interface? Force. Energy. Moving and on to now now. Is there an interface between a hammer and a nail? Are they, yes. Is it always touching a nail? Nail, head and hammer face. So it can hit the nail. But I've seen a hammer and it was a claw hammer and there were three points of contact. Handle, face and claw. So those are doing different things. They're different points of contact. So do you think there are three different interfaces that we're working with? Yeah. Kind of. Instead of one interface between the hammer and the nail, it looks like there's two interfaces. They both are on the nail head, but one is an interface between the hammer face and the nail head, and the other is between the hammer claw and the nail head. And those two interfaces are really doing different jobs. You can take things like nails out of um, holes. But this diagram is starting to get a bit too complicated. What if we were trying to design an aeroplane? Do you think we could draw everything like this? It's already looking pretty complicated and all we're talking about is a hammer. So here's another way to draw it. This is called a schematic view. So you can see the person and you can see the hammer and you can see the nail. I can see all those three systems, but the interfaces between them, I've just kept them simple. There's a hammer person interface and there's a hammer nail yeah. interface. Although we know that one of them is at a hammer handle and a human hand, and the other one is made of two parts, we just try to keep it simple in a schematic view. We normally focus on interfaces being connection between two things, a relationship between the hammer and the nail, and we can design the interface and how it works later on. If you've been paying attention, you learned that engineered systems are part of a larger universe, that connections between systems are called interfaces, that interfaces can transfer data, energy and materials between systems, and that physical schematic diagrams help us keep track of our systems and our interfaces. Next time, we'll do what is a system? The logical context view. The physical is what it is, but logical yeah. is what it does. If you like the video, rate, comment and subscribe. Bye bye!